Good evening, everyone. His name is Scooter Jeanette. That would seem to be an appropriate name for someone quick and agile, scrappy, a guy who hits singles. Not tonight. He was slugger Jeanette tonight. The word unbelievable is overused these days, but it fits in this situation. Bottom of the third inning, Jeanette launched a grand slam home run against the Cardinals' Adam Wainwright. It was 5 nothing Reds. Everybody would have been happy with that. But then in the fourth inning, it's Jeanette again, and it's not a cheapie. This one goes out to center field. It's a two-run blast against the Cardinals' John Gant. Fast forward to the bottom of the sixth inning with the Reds leading at 10 0. Gant still pitching, Jeanette still slugging. This time he takes it to left field. He has three home runs. 34 players in Reds history have managed to do that. And that takes us to the bottom of the eighth. Everybody in the stands knew the situation. They came to their feet as Jeanette came to the plate. John Brebbia was mopping up for the Cardinals. His first pitch, right down the middle, and Jeanette took it for a strike. He wasn't taking on the next pitch. Jeanette was going for the bomb. He swung and he missed. It was an 0-2 count. The suspense was building. Fans started to snap pictures. Would they witness history tonight? Brebbia's third pitch is straight and a bit up, and Jeanette jumps on it. He hits it square. A line drive this time into the seats in right field. And what a story. Jeanette's a young guy who grew up in Cincinnati. He was claimed off waivers prior to the season. He becomes only the 17th player in big league history and the first player in Reds history to hit four home runs in a single game in a 13 to one clobbering of the St. Louis Cardinals. That's something I never thought I would do. Um, even three home runs would be you know, too crazy for me. So uh, obviously it was a good night and um, made a few uh, um, adjustments with uh, not so much my stance, but just more like trying to relax. And I think I was able to swing at better pitches, which the end result was pretty good, so um, you know I just got to stay there. And uh, but overall, it was a, it was a great day. It's um, you know my, my teammates were <laughs> were awesome the whole time, let me know exactly what I need to do and uh, you know how many home runs I had at each point. So it was it was a good night for sure. You know being from here, born here, watching all those guys play when I was little, and um, to do something that's never been done uh, is just I don't know. I can't put words on it, but uh, you know it's an honor for sure. Reds and Cardinals play again Wednesday night. You never know what's going to happen, but it would sure be hard to top the unlikely story that took place at Great American Ballpark tonight.